I'm tackling the loft today. I've created a masterpiece. Jones is the 2023 Governor's Public Land Conservationist of the Year. When we built this floating tiny home a few months ago, one of the changes from our previous floating home that we had worked into our design was including a loft for storage and guest sleeping quarters. Our previous home only had a couch to offer for guests, so we generally just didn't really have any overnight guests. At least, not any over the age of 25 or so. You know, at a certain point, sleeping on a couch does kind of lose its luster. So we were really excited to have an actual bed and a set-apart space to offer our friends and family when they come visit. But life happens, and since building the house, we hadn't really gotten around to furnishing our loft. We finally found the time for it recently, just before skipping town to head to a big fancy awards ceremony. But more on that in a bit. Chevy Chase. <laughs> I bought some bags from you. Oof. Yay! We also got Ico a bed and went by the post office and got some oatmeal cream pies. Want to share with everybody what happened to Ico's bed? Mama left it outside. Oh, come, come on. I wasn't even there. You I were there. For 35 years. Ico's not even. You don't even know how old she is. I was you trying to. Ashamed I was yourself. trying to do the math. Ico's not even. Don't even know. She's not even like a fifth of that old. Uh, yes. She's eight. Is she seven or eight? Well, she just turned eight. Yeah. Yeah. Eight times five oh, is 35. <laughs> and then 42. 41? No. This is embarrassing. Believe it or not, I was valedictorian. That was a long time ago, though. <laughs> She's 56. Ico's, Ico's 56 in dog years. You're older than daddy. Oh yeah. There goes Carl. Woohoo. Here, that's your new bed. We're gonna put it inside for you, okay? We're gonna <laughs> love it, cherish it, and it's gonna take up most of the tiny home. <laughs> Just a little bigger than your other one, a lot less stinky. Yay! <laughs> Good girl. Okay, let's go make some room. Here we go. Now we got the good vibes. Actually quite nice up here. Really good view over there. We might have to sleep up here sometime. You can set up at least on one side. It's probably too too tight on this side because of the slope of the roof. But so the next steps are all of this storage stuff is gonna have to find a home. morning i'm tackling the loft today it's going down it has to go down today i can't procrastinate this anymore because my little sister abby is coming um the day after tomorrow and tomorrow i'm working all day so today's the day i can't say i'm super excited because it's kind of some boring work like just reorganizing things finding a home for things and putting together some like amazon you know self-assembled stuff i hate stuff like that but Hey, we gonna get it done and I'm gonna be really happy and relieved when it is, so let's do it. I'm starting here in our little battery box here. What this was originally intended for besides the batteries was our tools and construction materials, which are now over 
bunch of them are up there in the loft. So I'm gonna try and get all of that, or at least some of that, to fit in here. In addition to this, <laughs> let's see what I can do. Engineer, where are you headed? Carry me back to Tennessee. Oh, I got a little girl who's been waiting. I didn't feel like I could get this up here by myself when it's put together, so I'm gonna try and assemble it up here. <laughs> Hoping to take all of our winter clothes here and um, be able to fit them in this storage chest in a way that looks more, you know, put together and cute. So let's see how this goes. Down to the station, my little girl. Done. I'd like to say that wasn't as bad as I thought, but it was. I just hate assembling stuff from China. Anyways, I like this little thing. It keeps it from slamming. Now that this is done, the rest of this is the fun part. This is so cute. Take a look. This rug, by the way, was a suggestion from my friend Devin. You remember Devin that helped me with all the plants and whatnot? She has this in her house and it is so cute in just all the different colors and the way that the teal kind of ties into the cabinets down there and I felt like it would be perfect up here. So the only two things that I think I have unfinished business with up here is that that desperately needs a throw pillow, right? And this little planter, I'd like to put a uh, pothos, which I have a little cutting right here that'll be perfect outside of that. Chef's kiss. This bear, you so dirty. You got that dinghy all dirty. <laughs> That's why we have the dinghy though, isn't it? We've got our first couple feet of lake drop. <sighs> you got some serious cleaning, this bear. You better get to work. Okay, Brandon's just gotten home. I told him not to look at the loft until I got there. He beat me there because I was taking Ico potty. Let's see what he thinks. Wow. <gasps> Dang, that actually looks really good. Huh. Isn't that so cute? Oh, even my face lock from legs. Yeah. You feel it? Okay. Oh, yeah. It's actually a good breeze right there. You'd think the loft would be warm. What do you think? Would you invite all your friends here? As long as you don't wake up in the middle of the night with a bad drink. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good point. It's pretty cool. Did you build that box? Yes. Ha! Huh. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about it. It was a disaster. It took me like two hours, but... How many but... extra parts did you have left over? Uh, at least two of each. I see, you're learning. <laughs> Every time you build an airplane, there's always spare parts. <laughs> how cool it is up here i know yeah i one thing that i did notice up here today was um you know having like a higher center of gravity when the wake from the boats will come that you can't hardly even feel downstairs you can actually like feel it up here but that was actually kind of cool i like that i like when the house moves i think it is fun you're done good with the loft all set for guests my sister and her roommate joined us the following day to break it in we enjoyed some fun time on the lake before Brandon and I took off for Raleigh soon thereafter. A couple months ago, we had shared that Brandon was chosen as the 2023 North Carolina Public Lands Conservationist of the Year. The award had such a big word in the title, I had to Google it to see what the heck it was. For his work spearheading the annual Lakeshore Trash Cleanup here. I hope y'all don't mind to indulge me for a sec while I brag on him because this cleanup that Brandon leads is pretty epic. 
Almost a quarter million pounds of trash have been removed from our lake over the last five years thanks to this event, making it the most extensive cleanup in any national park in the United States. It's pretty complicated logistically and relies on the cooperation of many different agencies and nonprofits, which Brandon does all the legwork throughout the year to seamlessly unite. Fontana is a cleaner and better place because of this cleanup, and I'm so proud of Brandon for making it happen. This Governor's Awards Banquet is put on by the NC Wildlife Federation to honor the awards recipients in various categories of conservation. We were some of the only people in attendance from the mountains, and I'm willing to bet we were the only people in attendance that had to stop on the way there to buy fancy enough clothes suitable for such an event. So we felt a little out of place. But nonetheless, we wound up having a fantastic time and it was really cool to meet tons of other folks who are working hard to keep our state beautiful and wild. Oh, look who it is. It's the spoiled little bear and her new sweet all by herself. She got her own bed. That's one solid gray hair bear. She has some gray hair. You're gonna be nine next year. Or we're gonna jump. Should we jump or spin? Let's jump. <laughs> so <lame. laughs> But you gotta admit, we cleaned up pretty good for some lake rats. Only you can prevent forest fire. <laughs> Brandon, congratulations. Congress tonight. And you guys are going to be at table 28. First things first. Oh, we are not in Kansas anymore. So, all these benefits of wildlife conservation are why we're here tonight to recognize people and organizations who have gone above and beyond the call and done amazing things in their community or around the state um, to protect wildlife. Public Lands Conservationist of the Year is Brandon Jones. Litter is whatever doesn't belong. Brandon Jones gets this. Brandon is the marina operator and the harbor master at Fontana Village Resort and Marina, one of the most gorgeous natural areas up in the state, up against the soaring ridge line of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Five years ago, Jones started a trash cleanup that has now turned into the largest cleanup on national park lands in the entire country. In just one November weekend last year, more than 100 volunteers went out in boats and came back with 55,000 pounds of trash. To keep your best smokers green and clean, Jones is the 2023 Governor's Public Land Conservationist of the Year. I do appreciate the award. It's uh, good to have people behind you. The first time in my life I ever felt like a fence post or explain that a little bit. If you've ever been out in the Midwest and seen those turtles on fence posts, they have no business being there. They can get there without the public boat, and they'll never go anywhere without people like y'all helping us. Help me out, guys. We'll get, we'll get the rest of it. There's a bunch of us to go. Thank you. One thing that I am so proud of is, you know, it was really cool to see all of the other recipients like doing such amazing work and all of them were like PhDs and attorneys and stuff like that. And then Brandon gets up there and he's just Mr. Good Old Boy from Fontana Day, the smallest eight, town in North Carolina. I got out of eighth grade. <laughs> It was just really cool because it was like, look, it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, none of that stuff. Like, anybody can make a difference, and he's living proof, and it, I just think that's really inspirational and cool. And I'm proud of him, and I'm proud to be his fiance. I love you, babe. <laughs> Let's go party. All right.
Man, we are so blessed to live somewhere where the best part of any trip is coming back home. We've got so much to be thankful for here. Big thanks to those of you who keep afloat with us each week. It really does mean a lot to us. Cheers, and we'll see you next week.